Thank you very much, Congress. Uh, Thank you, Comrade uh, Pongal. I'm, I'm really reinvigorated um, by the reception in the Free State. We, we were told that the Free State is a no entry zone. Um, we thought these uh, toll gates were roadblocks. <laughs> And it was easy to pass through these things. You just pay and pass. Uh, unfortunately, we might not proceed further because of uh, the little that we have, unlike others who have enough to proceed further. Uh, but, comrades, I'm not giving a lecture, uh, I'm giving a responsibility to introduce comrade. Uh, Ronald was in a model. Uh, I'm also requested to give a bit of an narration on our relations, and I, I gossiped to him, Marie. You know I don't know you. <laughs> what am I going to say to the masses of our comrades? Uh, but I think it's only safe, comrades, to start with one important quote that the summit rather the safety, the safety of the sheep is in the sanity of the shepherd. If you are a drunk shepherd, it is given that you will constantly lose the sheep. You members of the youth team are shepherds to this organization. Now, should you by any chance lose focus, the sheep will get lost. Now, we are giving this code because we are calling for vigilance. We are giving this code because we are calling for determination. We are giving this code because we are calling for vigor amongst the members of the ANC in the Free State and everywhere else in South Africa. It should not be that we are meeting because the national conference is forthcoming. Lectures of this nature, I'm happy, Comrade Bongani, that you've had events of this nature before. In the form of Comrade Bong, uh, uh, Besani, in the form of Comrade, the former provincial secretary of the youth, League, Comrade Lebohan, the former colleague, former NEC member and many others, and it is my belief that many other events of this nature are still coming, even beyond the National Congress, because political education is not only a slogan, it is a resolution of the National Congress, that it needs to be institutionalized. It does not matter who you invite to come and give political education. What matters is the content that such a comrade is going to deliver. It also does not matter, even if it was three people, what is important is the message that is going to be delivered to those three people and their influence to society. So, on our way here, we were told many things. It is not possible. The lock is hold. The, the wall is locked. And every other thing. And we were prepared, we said, because we are determined, to speak to membership of the ANC Union, who will arrive in Bloomfontein, and we are here. And we are fortunate because we came here daylight. Arikukuni. We did not come in the night so that people would have enough reason to gossip and have more stories on Facebook and WhatsApp. No. We came during the day so that we are seeing our responsibility is to re energize membership of the <coughs> Our responsibility is to reinvigorate membership of the youth. Those of them who are given the responsibility to rebuild, which was ideologically unstable, the word rebuild itself, was not found anywhere in the evolution of our history. We co-opted them and tried to work with them. Today, we are still unable to define what it means. But that is not my responsibility. I thought I must leave those two words, so that I'm quoted elsewhere. 
I'm fortunate that uh, I am very fortunate, President, that on our way back, just after Paris, I'm, 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 I'll be released. I'm be released. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as I enter from the Comrade Bongani, I'm not from the Northwest. I, I am no longer from the Northwest. Uh, I am from Merafo in, in Caltonville, in Gauti. Yeah, Congress would, would remember the struggle of the people of Kuto. Cosby would know it very well, um, but I'm from Houghton now. Uh, my responsibility, comrades, is to introduce to you former leader of the YCL in Curtis Bank, uh, the former provincial chair of SASCO in the Mopo province, and, and many other credentials. I, I might need a pen <laughs> and uh, a page to write them down, but an activist. A lawyer by profession, a comrade who, who runs his own law firm, an academic par excellence, a political intellectual, an academia in his own nature and caliber, the former deputy president of the ANC Youth League, and the acting president of <laughs> the If you have a structure, that is, is, that is not able to convince 10 young people and induct them as per resolution of Congress. The 24th National Congress Resolution on Political Induction says, a branch launched 30 days later, if it's not politically inducted, it should not be affected. So in your majority, you might have been to HMs and BGMs. But if you were not inducted 30 days later, in terms of that resolution, you are not affirmed. <laughs> it's not me, Congress. It's the Congress resolution. Yeah. Visit it and read it. It will tell you what I'm saying. I know how it sounds. It sounds as if it's an attack. But until you read it, you will understand what it means. It is not because of your deeds. It is because of those who are above us and their inability to induct us, or their political unwillingness to induct us. So there are two things. It's either they are unwilling or they are unable. I do not know. You will decide. But it is my responsibility to introduce a person to you who I have crisscrossed with in the country. And in all the structures of the ANC Youth League, those of SARS and YC and everywhere else, We've been to as far as Russia, Comrade President. Uh, I must share with this comrade. Uh, it is in the interest of uh, the revolution to emphasize that I am optimistic that Ohabo will take aim. I'm not buying your face, but it is my view. The common comrades. I introduce to you, comrades, in the presence of former leaders of the ANC province, uh, SASCO, YCL, and all the members <coughs> of the MTM, the president of the ANC Youth League, Comrade Ronald Lamont.